Welcome to Outback Outdoors. Make sure you like, subscribe, and click the alert to stay up to date on all our new videos. On a September morning, she came without warning, said, ain't it a beautiful day? The dust on her feet, the songs she would sing, sang about flying away. Welcome to the Inspired Wild Podcast. We are here in Wyoming. It's so fun. I'm sitting here in the lodge at the Split Rock Ranch. We've got the Wamplers, Shelly and Justin. You know, you guys showed up on the 30th, the night of the 30th. Mm-hmm. What did you guys see when you got here? I mean, did you had you did you see some decent antelope? We did. We did. We uh, we set up down there in what we call Vulture's Knob and mm-hmm. looked at uh, Pivot 3 and 4 like we normally do in the evening we show up at five six o'clock pushing pushing dark unload as much as we can and then we haul down there with the spotting scope and binos and watch watch the pivots till dark and there were a few decent bucks in there that i was able to get uh, the phone scope on low to mid 70s bucks but q had known he'd been up here the weekend before and knew about these two bucks up here in this other pivot so he kind of put those on the hit list so kind of giving you a heads up to him exactly September morning, she came without warning, said, ain't it a beautiful day? So, Shelly, take us through your day yesterday. Justin said they had a couple good yeah. opportunities. And where were you hanging out? <laughs> what were you looking for as far as an antelope? I guess to set the stage, I would kill any place else to kill a mid seventies buck. That's it's a great antelope, but you come out here, you you draw this tag after however many years, you have a legitimate option or opportunity to shoot an eighty inch buck, mm-hmm. and so the the bar is set high. But my bar was set a little bit lower. I didn't wait seven years. I <laughs> right. and I had another tag, and there's a giant deer sitting down here that we have eyes on. So we'll get into that later, but. You know, it's kind of trying to figure out priorities. There were a couple of bucks that I was definitely interested in that maybe weren't quite in that that high 80s range that Justin was looking for. Um, so we happened to spot one kind of late morning, mm-hmm. close to early afternoon. Yeah, 10, 11 o'clock, I think. Yeah. So what we did was we went up pivot to like Q was talking about. He said, there's two good bucks up there. I need to go take a look at them, focus on those as far as how big they are yeah so we we pulled back into vulture's knob so we could see if we could find those bucks that we had seen the night before and there were a bunch bedded in that sage but in the meantime we spotted this guy real nice uh, lots of mass good curls so we we kind of worked out a plan to drive down there and get closer just to see just get better eyes on him well when we got closer between the two pivots he was definitely a shooter he's one that i wanted to go after but where we were at, the, really the only play was the moving blind. <laughs> right. So, but it just made sense. There was a two track that followed that pivot. So we drove by, Matt and I jumped out, let the, the Suburban keep going. And luckily, luckily enough, he was curious enough that he held up for a period of time and gave me enough time to get a shot off. The antelope was actually about 35 yards, which for me is... Right in your wheelhouse. Yeah, very doable shot. So that made me feel more confident. Um, Setup worked great. Buck stayed there, gave us the time, um, got him on camera, executed the shot. It was a little bit forward. Basically hit him in that front shoulder. The good news, the silver lining was he was hurt bad. Um, I was unhappy, but he didn't go far and he immediately went down. Um, And because he did bed down so quickly. I knew he was hurt. So we we got a little aggressive. We pushed it to get the, the next shot in him just to just to make sure he was done. Many. 
It's okay. Your first split rock buck. Yeah. Uh, antelope buck. How do you feel? I mean, are you, are you oh, pleased? Man. Oh, absolutely. It's going to be hard to beat. Yeah. It's it's a nice buck. It's unique. It's got character. It's got mass all the way to the points. Alternative structure. Yeah. Is that a good way to put it, right? <laughs> but he's got uh, points coming off. Yeah, he's got some little he's nubs. He's got some little nubs like on the back. Kickers for hard curls. Yeah. yeah, yeah. For I mean, hard curls yeah. and Real mass hard. all the way to the tips. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's yeah. When you guys texted buck. me a picture of him, I said, good. And I think the thing I responded with is good mass. Mm-hmm. <laughs> The sky turned black, the day you left Artist colors left to rest Shades of gray would lead the night in from the west She told me angels fly away We'll meet again someday I am lonesome without you I am so lonesome without you, my babe Do you still want to go back around? Yeah. Yeah, let's go get an eye on some other ones and I guess get my my horn meter <laughs> calibrated. Calibrated. Yeah. yeah. There's a buck staring at us. That's a pretty good buck staring at us. Why you at? It's right here. Just right oh, here. out here. This, this one oh, this is right real nice, oh. curved all the way around. These cutters look pretty good. I'm thinking maybe we can get out to this, get up to that knob uh, out here. Maybe he'll angle towards the hill, yeah. potentially. Well, I'm getting impatient. So. He's big enough to shoot, that's all I need to know. He was really weird. His cutters aren't real tall, but he's got length above him. I mean, he was he was pretty tall. Drive down to the corner gate here. Hopefully he just keeps feeding, doesn't pay attention to us. There's been enough traffic out here today. And then uh, two of us will drop out. I think we're just gonna have to get a decoy out because it's, it's wide open. So, I mean, if we can pop it up, they don't pay any attention to it as slow as we can and just work our way in. If he picks his head up, just stop, hang out, work our way in, see how close we can get. This one's behind us, they're watching, but I think we'll be okay. Won't be too long, but they won't be able to see us anymore. Yeah, okay. He's right in front of us. I see his head. Go straight towards the cow. To the right. See him to the right. See him. Those are the does. That's the buck in the back. He's working his way towards us. Yeah. You're all right. Just keep going. Squat it down right there. Get a look. He's coming to us. 
They're getting all fancy. Yeah. What's the bug doing? Nothing. Nope. They're taking him with her. Headed that direction. Yep. That was not good. <laughs> well, 500 yards, it seems like a win. That was a good time had by all. She even had the wind. Perfect. Right up with the other group. Blow them out. Oh, they're not even in the same county Oh, anymore. no. They're gone. <laughs> uh, well. Stupid does. It's worth a shot. Over well for two. Too many eyeballs. That buck broke off and went to the right, didn't he? Yep. You mean like... See him going hard right? That's a good buck. That's the big one. Oh, headed towards the cow? I think so. That'll be our next one. Get the cow decoy. I said, why is that antelope got six legs? <laughs> so we got the wind like this, right? Yeah. So ideally, my thought is to go kind of in and then kind of perpendicular. But I don't want to push them out that way. If I'm going to push them anywhere, I want to push them that way. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, let's go down the road and then come around the back. Those two bu three bucks are in the far back next to the burnout area. So maybe we so, even take the road around and yeah. then we start angling in on them. And then come yeah. from the north to them yeah. because... The does are gonna bust first. If we can get around them and then get closer to the bucks rather than going through the does, so then they the won't take them with the them. So yeah, okay. we're gonna have to get around anyway because the wind's straight this way. Okay. So how many hunters can you get in a, in a uh, telephone booth? We're fixing to find out. We're about to I've find taken out. some video and some pictures, so I'll send that to you. That's interesting. So we've got a plan here. <laughs> um, we, no, we, we. The wind's picking up just a little bit, still not bad for Wyoming. Not bad um, at all. But we're going to try and utilize this uh, Montana decoy, cow, moo cow decoy, um, and we're going to utilize that in combination with uh, the John Deere decoy. We are. We are. So what we have here is apparently some cows have gotten off in, in the alfalfa. So, mm -hmm. well, we have a cow. We do. We do. It, it actually worked out because they're not supposed to be there. They're not supposed to be there, but and they've been there for how many days? A couple days? A couple days now. Couple days? So they're fairly used to them. And so, and the tractors don't bother them so we're gonna actually get on this big old 746 and, and we're gonna work our way around get the wind right try and get around these does so we don't spook them right and then we're gonna bail out set up and then the tractor's gonna move out of the way and we're gonna see if we can't move in and get a shot with a lot of people behind a decoy a lot of people but we don't need much we just need that 50 60 yard window mm -hmm. broadside or if we can get him position. to pause for a few seconds no. we should be good um, here we go Grab them and I need a range. I got a rough one. The one walking left. What do you got? So here we are 
in this amazing um, planned out sequence of events and but the buck is 89 I mean it was, it was something you were like we need to get closer yeah it started so, out I think 88 yeah when we yeah. jumped out so um, which was a little further than what we wanted um, because he moved I looked at you Justin you kind of looked at me and we kind of left the camera guys set up behind us and then we end up getting to uh, the next stopping point and he is dead <laughs> broadside to us with his head down feeding. Mm I can't believe that worked. Oh God. Nice job. So in this situation, having the decoy, I think really allowed, it did exactly what we wanted it to do. Well, his body language, like I said, he'd, he was feeding, he'd pick up his head, he'd look, but then he'd go back to feeding, he was, perfectly broadside he was calm as can be i made sure the pet uh the pin settled and i held on him for probably several seconds kind of compose myself and get some oxygen back in my blood and hold a little more steady and complete the shot and, and the shot was phenomenal it seemed at first a bit forward because he did not go 15 yards no he uh he face planted and then snow plowed and, and was did a little front flip and DRT. That was it. Dead right there. How rare is it to be able to share that with everybody? Right. And that's pretty special. Absolutely. So Yeah, it was awesome. Oh, he's big. Yeah, oh, he's big. <laughs> look at the, That's awesome. Is he, hey, uh, hey. he is a stud. Nice job. Thanks for keeping an eye on him, Larry. <laughs> no kidding. Look at those cutters. So, everything we talked to, he's got everything. What is he? Look at this. So, he, he oh. at least an inch and a half. He starts to fork an inch and a half above his ears. He's massive all the way up. Good cutter length and then he curls. That's awesome. I mean, that's everything you could that's ask good. for in an antelope. No that's kidding. mass. But look at those cutters. I mean, yeah. that's huge.
Thanks for watching Outback Outdoors. We encourage you to comment below and as always, like, subscribe, and click the alert to stay up to date on all our new videos.